Hello everyone, I am Dipanshu Grover from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I would be demonstrating you the ODBC connectivity to Amazon Redshift from Power Center. The agenda for this video would be a brief introduction to Amazon Redshift database, how it integrates with Power Center, why to use ODBC connectivity with Amazon Redshift, how to configure the ODBC connection from Windows or Linux machine, and which would be followed by a quick demo. Introduction to Amazon Redshift Amazon Redshift is a cloud-based petabyte scale data warehouse service that small and large organizations can use for data analysis and data warehousing. Amazon Redshift uses a columnar data storage, parallel processing and data compression to store data and perform queries. Amazon Redshift uses a cluster-based architecture that consists of a leader node and compute nodes. The leader node interacts with the client applications and communicates with compute nodes. A compute node stores data and runs queries for the leader node. Any client that uses a PostgreSQL driver can communicate with Amazon Redshift database. Integration with Power Center Power Center integrates with Amazon Redshift using Power Exchange for Amazon Redshift Connector and ODBC. In my next slide, I would be briefing about the Power Exchange for Amazon Redshift connectivity. The Power Center integration service uses the Amazon Redshift connection to connect to Amazon Redshift database. The Power Center repository contains the required Amazon Redshift connection, workflow, and session objects that you create in the designer and workflow manager. When you run the Amazon Redshift session, the Power Center integration service writes data to Amazon Redshift based on the workflow and Amazon Redshift connection configuration. The Power Center integration service connects and writes data to Amazon S3, which is also called a simple storage service through a TCP IP network. Amazon S3 is a storage service in which you can copy data from source and simultaneously move data to Amazon Redshift clusters. The Power Center integration service issues a copy command that copies data from Amazon S3 to the Amazon Redshift target table. As the load is going via S3, so it happens in bulk. Detailed demo with configuration of Amazon Redshift is already available on our support channel. You could find the link to it at the end of this video. Now the question arises, why to use ODBC connectivity? Through ODBC connectivity, both read and write to Amazon Redshift database are possible. But to leverage the bulk capacity of Amazon Redshift database, power exchange for Amazon Redshift connector has to be used for loading to the Redshift database. Pushdown optimization feature is only possible via ODBC connectivity. If your mapping design has a requirement of using a lookup to Redshift database, then it could be only be fulfilled through the ODBC connectivity. Pre or post SQL statements, if needed to be run, then it could be only done using the ODBC connectivity. Before proceeding to the demo, let's have a quick look at the prerequisites of the ODBC connection. The first one would be to make sure that the IP of the machine running the Informatica is added to the CIDR IP security group. We also need to make sure that the required ODBC driver has been installed on the Power Center server machine. The verification of the test connectivity outside Power Center could be done either using the test connect through ODBC administrator in Windows or via SSG ODBC utility available on the Linux machine. Now I will quickly go through a quick demo in which I will demonstrate the DSM creation from ODBC administrator, connection creation from workflow manager and a sample session run, which would be loading data from a flat file to Redshift database using ODBC connection. Here you could see I have installed the required Postgres driver on Windows machine where Informatica server is running. For DSN creation, we need to specify the following parameter values. DSN name. This is a user defined name given to identify the data source. Database. This is the name which is the database present on the Redshift cluster, the Redshift database. Host which is actually the endpoint or server for the Redshift cluster database. 
username. This is the user using which a connection would be established to the Redshift database. Password. This is the password using which the user will be authenticated to the database. Once all the details have been entered, a connection test can also be performed on clicking the test button, which will con confirm that the connection to the database using the credential provided is valid. Now let's proceed further with the ODBC connection creation. For creating the ODBC connection for the Amazon Redshift, we need to go to the workflow manager client where we need to browse to the connections tab. Inside the connections tab, we need to choose the relational connections inside which again we need to go to the ODBC connections. I have created a sample connection here which is already connecting to my Amazon Redshift database. Here we need to specify the username, password and the connect string which is nothing but the DSN created in the previous step. Once the connection is created, we now need to associate this connection to the source or target from the source or target properties by editing the session. We need to go to the mapping tab. Choose the associated target in which I have associated the connection created ODBC underscore redshift to the redshift target in which I am going to load the data. Now the session is ready with the connection associated. Let's go ahead and run the workflow. The workflow is running now. Now let's check the ODBC connection status from the session logs. As we could see, the session has succeeded and the connectivity to the database via ODBC connectivity has been successfully done and the required number of rows from the flat file has been loaded to the Redshift target. The ODBC connectivity we can verify from the session logs by looking at this line which clearly says the ODBC event using array fetches, the ODBC event array insert operation which is getting performed on the Redshift database. For more information on this demo, you could browse to the following Amazon AWS doc location which talks about the ODBC connectivity to the Amazon Redshift database. You could also go through this video cable link which talks everything about the power exchange for Amazon Redshift connectivity to the Amazon Redshift database and this video is available on our YouTube support channel. I hope you liked the video. Please send us the feedback on support videos at the red informatica.com and you could also tweet us on our Twitter page InfoSupport. Thank you for watching the video.